This class is brought to you by the LA Care and Blue Shield Promise Community Resource Centers. The centers are a place to help you be active, healthy, and informed. We hope you enjoy this virtual class. Hello, my name is Ricky Davis. Today we're going to do cardio exercise with the emphasis in, in upper body strength. All right, upper body strength, cardio exercise. We're going to go ahead and get our body tone from the upper body perspective. So let's get started, shall we? All right. So what we're going to do is just, we're just going to rotate our arms. Rotate our arms. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and get, get warmed up. Good. Go round and round with it. Good 
All right, we're gonna do one more stretch. Go all the way here, hands all the way down. Try to bring this hand all the way past your ribs. Get that full stretch. All right, let's go the other way. or just a regular stick. So we're gonna do some upper body strength exercise, okay? This is gonna strengthen the upper body. I like to call it, like I said, upper body strength exercise only because so many people today are struggling with trying to stay active, trying to stay um, healthy and loose. So why not use the things that you have at home, okay? Like I said, you get a broomstick, you know, unscrew the part where the brush is, or you get a mop stick, whatever stick you want, okay? So we're gonna put the stick down here, our thighs, bend our knees just a little bit, okay? We're just gonna go up here to the chin, all the way back down. Chin, down, okay? We're gonna do 20 of these, okay? 20 of these, so we're gonna breathe in. When we come up, we're gonna breathe out when we come down, okay? Bend our knees, ready to go. Breathe in, down, one. Make sure you tighten up your stomach, too. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, ladies and gentlemen, 20, all right, good, Let's kick those feet out, pull them shoulders, and you might say, well, this is light, well, that's why you do more repetition, which means you do more reps, that's why I did 20, because after about 20, you're already circulating your muscles, you're already getting the blood flow going. So that's why I said it's so important to do exercises in repetition when you're not using weight, okay? All right, let's do another step, okay? Let's spread our legs. This time, we're gonna bring our hands closer into the middle, okay? So that means your elbows should be touching your rib cage, okay? Bend our knees, go up to the chin, all the way back down, okay? Ready, we'll do 10, breathe in. When you go up, breathe out when you go down. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, and 20. Good job. Woo! All right, so your arms should be burning or hot. Either or, or both, okay? It's very important that we understand the importance of upper body strengthening exercise, which means you want to strengthen the upper body and you want to be good conditioning so every time you do some kind of exercise, you will develop what's called muscle memory. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, muscle memory, okay? So let's go ahead and grab our stick and we're going to hold it here, okay? This time we're going to go up and then back down. This is going to be working your chest and your shoulders, okay? So let's bend our knees, make sure your shoulders are our broad back, your, your back is straight. Okay, we're gonna do 20 of these. We're gonna breathe in and then breathe out. Okay, ready? On the count of three. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
you feel? You should feel good around the shoulders area in your in your pecs, your pectoral muscles, your chest. Okay? You should feel really good right about now. Okay, so let's go ahead and spread our leg. Let's do it again. This time, we're gonna put our hands in the middle. Okay? Make sure the shoulders are broad. Okay, we're gonna go up and come back down. Up and come back down. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three, and go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. right here in the middle of the stick, okay? Make sure that your shoulders are relaxed. Make sure that your legs are spread. All we're gonna do is bring our arm all the way down and bring it up here. Okay, we're gonna bring it right back up to the waist. We're gonna go down, back. We're gonna do 20 of those, ready? You're gonna breathe out every time you go down, breathe in when you come up, ready and go. That's one. That's two. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
60, 70, 80, 90, and 20. Good job. Woo! All right. How you feel? You feel good? I know I feel good. All right. Let's kick our legs out. Make sure you always keep yourself loose. Kind of work. Kind of stretch it out. I know sometimes when you're working out like this, your muscles can be a little sore, a little tight, just because you're not, you know, getting enough activity during the day. That's why it's so important to do these exercises, okay? All right, so we're going to do another set, okay? Now this time, we're going to put, keep our hands in the middle of the stick, okay? We're going to go out, here, out, and here, okay? Breathe in, when you go out, go up, breathe out, we come down. Twenty of those, okay. On the count of three, we're gonna breathe out when we go out. Breathe in when you come in, okay. Make sure you kind of bend your knees a little bit, kind of stick your butt out. Because as you're sticking your butt out, you want to make sure that you have stability in your thighs. The butt muscles are so important because it allows you to have stability in your thighs, okay. All right, on the count of three, one, two, three, and go. One, two. Now, you should be 
feeling good. Triceps on fire. Right here. All right? Now, we're going to work some more triceps. But also, we're going to work the lower body. We're going to work the hip. So I'm going to turn sideways. Okay? And I'm going to put my hand in the middle. Okay? So as you can see, it's right here. Okay? I want to show you how this works. You want to bend your knees, lean forward. Make sure that your butt is stable like this. Make sure it's stable. Okay? We're going to bring bring our arms here to the shoulders. We're going to go all the way down. Hit your thighs. Come right back up to your chin. Down, up. We're going to lean forward when we're doing it. Okay? All right? Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three, go. One. Two. Three. Good. You're working your tries. Four. Like this, you can feel the tightness. 
And of course, your ass as well. Your ass as well. All right? We're going to do another set. Okay? Put our hands on our shoulders. Bend those knees. Right here you go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, good job, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Good job. All right. Let's go ahead and just rotate our neck. I know they're probably a little tight. Okay? Okay, now we're going to do some stretching before we end this session. Okay? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread our legs. All the way down as far as you can. There you go. Try to touch the ground if you can. And down. There you go. Just breathe it out. Breathe it out. Good job. Good job. Good. Very good. Good stretch. There you go. so much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next week and at one of our resource centers as soon as we can. Until then, stay active, healthy, and informed.